Well, at least it's morning over here. So I'm making these bacon and shrimp breakfast wraps with blanched collard greens. I'm going to show you how I'm doing them. So my leaves are a little yellow because I took a while to use them, but you see I cut the stem off here. And I'm going to put them over the boiling water like this. And I'm going to prepare a big bowl with ice water for the blanched leaves because you have to shock them after they're blanched to stop the cooking. It takes no time for them to cook and once they're that bright green color you take them off and you put them in the cold water. I'm going to put the next leaf on. Blanching the leaves makes them really malleable and soft because making the wrap with the raw collard greens it'll probably crack when you fold it. I dump the water out of the same skillet and I'm going to add my bacon right in here just to, you know, less dishes the better, right? So I have three slices of bacon going and I'm using my favorite uh, Peterson's brand bacon. It's Whole30 approved. It's also AIP. So I have matchstick carrots, green onion, avocado, lettuce, and shrimp, which is also going to go in the wrap. I'm going to cook the shrimp in the same skillet after the bacon. Bacon's almost done, and then I'm going to add in the shrimp, and it's about a cup, a little under a cup of uh, just wild-caught, deveined, peeled shrimp. So I took my bacon off, and I strained a little bit of the fat out, and then now I'm just going to cook the shrimp in here in this hot skillet really quickly with just a pinch of salt. Shrimp are done when they're nice and coiled and pink, and then just take them off because you don't want to overcook. Got bacon and shrimp, creamy cilantro sauce, matchstick carrots, butter lettuce, avocado, green onion. And I've pat dry my leaves here so they're ready to go. These aren't too big so we'll see how they wrap, fingers crossed. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit ambitious and try and get everything into one wrap. Ooh. So it works. So what you do is that you like, you fold in the sides and then you roll this way. So fold and then roll is the best way you can explain it. Look how pretty they turn out. So just cut with a really sharp knife um, so you don't shred the greens and you're good to go. Yum. Although I did tie them up for the picture, it really wasn't necessary. They're holding up really well and they're so good. I already ate the other half. Yum. Recipe on the blog.